Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm checking out a blade I've never used before, but it's very similar to another one. So I'm curious what the difference is. Stay tuned, because I'm... That's right, I am Dave Shaves. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon for notifications. If you feel so inclined, hit me up on social media at the Dave Shaves and hit me up on Facebook and Patreon.com slash the Dave Shaves and hit me up on the web at the Dave Shaves.com. All right, so today we are trying out a new blade that I have never used before. That blade is the Gillette Wilkinson Sword. It looks like this right here, comes in this little package here has Gillette Wilkinson Sword written all over it. Now, there is another blade that is very similar that I have used, but I don't know the difference. I'm not gonna do a comparison today other than to show the, the other blade and ask you if you know what the differences are, because I am honestly not certain. That other blade here is just the plain Wilkinson Sword or as it's uh, come to be known in a few circles, the Wilkinson Sword Classic Blade. I don't know the difference. The packages are very similar, other than this is actually more of a navy blue writing, this is black, this says Gillette, this doesn't. That's really it. Other than that, it's virtually identical. I don't know what the blades look like inside to compare it to, so I'm gonna do that next. I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna do a comparison shave today because I've already used this blade. It's a mild blade. It works well in various razors, but it is more on the mild side. I don't know if this one is less mild, more mild, more aggressive, I, I don't know. I don't know what to expect from this at all. I picked this up because a friend of mine uh, and a viewer of mine pointed out that this uh, was on a good deal on eBay. So I picked up a, a pack of this, like a hundred and over a hundred of these blades in a, salon, in a saloon pack for next to nothing. I mean, it was virtually free and it was free shipping. So you really couldn't lose. So I picked it up and I'm really curious what, what, what it's gonna be, like what the deal is with that. Now the packages here are a little different as well. You have the Gillette Wilkinson Sword right here, and you have the Wilkinson Sword Classic right here. So boxes are a bit different. Other than that, again, I don't really know what to expect. But let's go ahead and find out, shall we? So before we go ahead and really delve, dive into exactly what to expect from this blade, let's go ahead and go over what else we're using today. Uh, for the razor, I'm using my go-to razor with new blades, or one of my go-to razors with new blades, and that is my Macor 34C. With that, I'm using, for the soap, I'm using, and I have had this soaking for a bit, Viking Revolution Sandalwood Scented Puck. For those that have been watching my videos since the beginning, you know that I've used this a lot. I haven't used it recently, which is why I wanted to, but I have used it a bunch. So I wanted to go ahead and go with products that I've used before, otherwise, that I used before and know. Um, that's also why I'm using this particular brush here, this was my original brush and it is my old original Badger Hair brush. Now, as far as the aftershaves go, we're gonna be using Sterling Soap Company Sandalwood Scented Post Shave Balm. And we're gonna be splashing on some Genuina Ogala Bay Rum and Sandalwood Scented Soap. Uh, aftershave soap, sorry. Anyway, so that's what we're using today. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at this particular blade. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And the blade looks like this. It's a stainless blade and it says Wilkinson Sword on it. Doesn't say Gillette anywhere on it. Um, I can tell you just by holding it, it feels like a very mild blade. It does not feel very sharp at all. 
I am, however, for comparison's sake, I'm gonna take a look at the Wilkinson Sword Classic blade here close up. We're gonna open this and you can see it's actually, it's very similar actually. Um, the writing is a bit smaller and it doesn't say stainless on here. This actually does say, and I didn't realize it on one side, just say uh, Gillette product. This does not say that, just, it just says Wilkinson Sword at the top and that's it. So there are some differences in the blade itself. So I'm not sure what the difference is gonna be with how the blade performs. If you know anything about the differences between this blade, let me know. I am, I'm really curious on what the differences are. Again, this isn't gonna be a comparison as far as a shape goes. This is just gonna be me using this blade for the first time, giving you my thoughts. And then I will probably do a comparison video later on. But for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and use this blade and see. One thing I do wanna mention is, as I did mention just a, a little while ago, this blade does not feel very sharp. The other one felt a little sharper in my fingers. So I don't know what that means, um, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just open up my two-piece Macor, Macor, I hate saying that word, 34C. And we're just gonna go ahead and load this up. Let's see what we can do here. You also, all of you are in for a treat today because you're gonna see something that you don't usually see. I am actually gonna do my full pre-shave routine here. And I don't usually use a pre-shave because I use this Neutrogena Men Face Scrub here. It is a razor defense and it really does, in my opinion, it does very similar to what a pre-shave would do. So you're gonna see me wash my face with this. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do because I never have and people have asked about it in the past. So we're gonna go ahead and, and do that. But before we do that, let's go ahead and lather up. I'm gonna lather up first and then I'll wash and we'll go from there. So right off the bat, let's just go ahead and start lathering up this puck of soap right there. I did have it blooming in some water and I had this soaking, so we should be good. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and start lathering this up. And I know that I don't usually get, or at least I haven't been, uh, historically, I don't usually get videos in on the weekends, but I have recently. And I know, just like I said in every video, I know you're all probably asking why. And honestly, it just comes down to when I have time. Recently, the weekends tend to be an easier time for me to get, for me to get a video in just because the weeks have been hectic. Um, my part-time job has become a full-time job for the for the short period of time, and that leads to just a lot of a lot of work. Um, I'm actually it's way over way over full-time. Actually, I'm working like 12-hour days, so it's it's been pretty crazy. Um, right off the bat, I'm noticing this. I don't know if there's not enough water in this, but this is very dry and it is not lathering super well at all, which is weird for this. So we're actually gonna, I'm actually gonna take a little bit more water. I'm just gonna take it from my little cup here that my thing was soaking in. I'm just gonna pour a tiny bit in there. There's probably a little bit more than necessary. We'll dump a tiny bit out and just, I also haven't used these pucks in a while. These are typically drier pucks than other shave soaps out there, I've noticed at least. And that's the Viking, Viking Revolution. Now, that's not to say they're not good. Um, I love them. I do, I love this puck of soap. It's got a great scent to it. It's very strong sandalwood, but it does, it, it is a drier soap to be sure. Um, so you definitely wanna make sure you have enough moisture in there. 
And even if it's a bit of a drier lather in here, I can always add more water and lather it up in my face a little bit. We got some nice lather starting to build up here. It's not, it's not the lather I would hope for, if I'm being honest. It's just, it's just not blowing up as much as it should. So it's gonna take some some doing, I think. It's gonna, might need some more water. Some soaps lather quicker than others, I've noticed, and I don't know if it's a water thing or what. I think it's, I think with this, it definitely is. The moisture sometimes is difficult to get right on this particular puck of soap. So we're just gonna leave that as that. I think that's a pretty decent lather. Just gonna scrape that off in there and I can always re-lather once I get going. So I don't wanna make you guys watch me while I lather for like a million minutes. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and we've already been going for 11 minutes. So let's just really jump into this here. So what I do is I always start with some really hot water, moisten up my face nicely. The reason you don't see me do this often is because typically I shower right before I do a video. This time I decided not to. So I did moisten my face up nicely. We're just gonna put a tiny bit of this right here in my fingers. And we're just gonna lather that up nicely. And it really is a nice scrub. And it moistens up the face nicely and it really does help me prepare for a shave. Like I said, I usually do it in a shower but I didn't shower this time so you get to see me do it now. All right. All right. Got that nice and rinsed off. Got my face nice and moistened up. Let's go ahead and start applying some lather here. It is a bit of a drier lather, though the moistened face definitely helps add a little bit of moisture to it. And it's not terrible. I added a nice little bit of water into the soap but I definitely think that's why it's not lathering as well as some of the others. It's just a drier soap is all. It's just a very much drier soap. But it lathers nicely. I mean, it's got a nice lather to it. So, and the, the lather does go a long way. All right. Let's go ahead and really see what this blade does. Well, one, ooh, I gotta be careful. If you watch me on social media, you probably saw that I really tore into my face the other day and I'm going over that scab there. You got to be very careful not to reopen it because it was nasty. I um, probably could have done with a couple stitches. But I didn't. I just put a couple butterfly closures on it. Uh, 
All right, one thing I will say. Is it did cut through the the long sideburn up here pretty good um, I mean that's something but honestly it's not a very it's not a very smooth feeling blade if I'm being honest I would recommend doing shorter strokes. Now, part of this is my face might not be as, as well hydrated as it usually is because I usually do a, a shower or I let my face soak or something. And I really, I didn't do as much on my pre-shaves I usually do. So that's definitely part of it, I'm sure. But the other part of it is this, this blade It's just not very smooth. Again, I, I should have done more to hydrate my skin a little bit more, which would probably help a bit. So I'm probably gonna lead to some irritation here and that's on me. This is one of those videos I'm not teaching you. Don't, uh, don't necessarily do what I do in this video. Just sort of watch this for what it is, which is a review of this blade. Don't necessarily pay attention to how I'm shaving or prepping for the shave. But let's go ahead and splash some hot water on my face. Although honestly, My face is actually more hydrated than I thought it was. I can feel it. So part of it is definitely the uh, the blade. I mean, it's doing okay as far as sharpness, I guess. I, I guess. I don't really have a whole lot of growth anyway. Um, I did just shave yesterday, not on camera, but I did just shave yesterday. So there wasn't a whole lot of growth, but my facial hair does grow pretty quick. So there was a decent amount. And I do have a reason to shave every day if I choose. So I don't know. It's just, it's... I'm not the hugest fan of this. I just feel like it's not quite as good of a blade. It's, it's not bad. I mean, what do you guys think? Have you compared the two? Do you know the difference? I mean, the good news is I'm not cutting myself. There's absolutely no bleeding at all. But it doesn't feel quite as smooth and it doesn't feel quite as sharp. But it is cutting through. I am going to end up with, with a decent shave out of it. And my, my skin is much better hydrated now and it's still just not feeling as good.
I mean, again, there's honestly not much irritation, which is good. It feels like there there should be, but I'm not seeing any any weepers. I'm not seeing any real redness. And usually I can if there's gonna be some irritation. So that's good. I'm honestly not sure. I'm on the fence about this. I'm on the fence about this blade so far. I feel like the other blade, the classic, by the way, there's a, definitely a better lather than I thought there was on here. It didn't look all that great, but it's, it's applying fantastic to my skin. Um, I'm getting a nice layer on each time without having to re-lather at all. So that's, that's good. I think it's just the fact that I'm not used to this particular soap. I haven't used it in a while, the brand or anything. All right, um, let's go in for pass three. And then we'll see where we're at. I'm gonna pro and con this thing. And I'll give you my honest opinion all as well. There's definitely some irritation now on the bottom. I can feel it coming through. Nothing too bad. I get irritation on my on my neck. Especially if I shave two days in a row. And I've been shaving a lot recently. Multiple times a week, a couple days in a row, etc. So the irritation that I'm feeling down, yeah, you can see it. A um, little bit of weepers down there, and that happens. This particular area, I, no matter what I do, no matter what direction I shave on here, I always, always, always get some weepers down there. It's, uh, it's just that damn area. It's just that damn area. But that's all right. No big deal. All right. All right, let's go ahead and rinse off and come in for some final remarks here. I need to get myself an Allen block. I do not have an Allen block. But I do have my styptic pencil, which I'm gonna go ahead and this tend to works pretty well for me. And I don't know necessarily that they're interchangeable, but I tend to use the uh, the styptic pencil in a similar fashion that a lot of people use Allen blocks. So, all right. Um, so let's 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 talk about this. The pros. It did a decent job. Um, it's very inexpensive blade. You can get it for eBay and probably even on Amazon for next to nothing. They are very very inexpensive blades. 
for what it is, it does a decent job. It is a little bit on the milder side. It doesn't, it's not as smooth. It does not feel as smooth in my opinion on the, the skin, it just doesn't. And when I think back about what I know about this Wilkinson sword, I feel like this is a little bit of a step up. It feels more smooth. I think it has a bit of a better shave to it. So overall, if I, I'm gonna compare the two side by side at some point to really get a feel for it. But just going off of what I know right now, I would say that this just, it's, I don't wanna say, I don't know. I don't necessarily wanna say inferior, but it's definitely a cheaper blade. I mean, it's, it's less expensive and in my opinion, you can tell. If you disagree, if you got it for more expensive and you happen to think that it's a great product, let me know. Um, I just don't see it. I don't. I'll use it again and I'm gonna, I have a bunch of them. I have well over a hundred at this point. So I don't know, maybe I'll do another giveaway with them. I mean, they're, they're not bad. For starters, they're not bad. If you're just starting out in wet shaving, it's not bad at all. But they're, it's just not as good as other blades out there. And in my opinion, it's not as good as this blade, the Wilkinson Sword Classic. So that's really it. Take, that's my, that's my takeaway, take or leave it. Um, if you disagree, put it in the comments below, let me know. You're welcome to it, you're welcome to disagree. And wow, I did a number on the bottom here, didn't I? That's weird. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and Alright. Not a whole lot of burning, I will say. Uh, even on my irritated area here where there's some weepers, there's not much burning, so that's surprising. So that's definitely something to think about. Definitely gonna have to give this another shot. Maybe I'll use, I'll use a different razor, use a different soap, and I'll do it after showering and doing my full, full routine. Give it another go. And again, I will compare it to the other, the other blades. So there might be something there. I don't know, we'll see. I'm, I'm on the fence. I don't really have a firm answer about whether or not I like this blade right now. I don't, I go back and forth, I, I I don't know. So, but I mean, I guess that's right. I mean, that's no, there's, that's fine. There's no law that says I have to have a firm yes or no answer on the first try, so definitely worth trying again. That's the fun of wet shade and that's the fun of doing this YouTube channel, huh? I think so. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it. If you're watching this video and you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, you like all my videos, hit that like button, give me some comments below. If you feel so inclined, hit me up on social media, that's Instagram and Twitter, at the Dave Shades. Ring that bell icon for notifications. Hit me up on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Dave Shades. And if you feel so inclined, again, give me some love on Patreon, that is patreon.com slash the Dave Shades. And hit me up on the web at the Dave Shades.com. That's it, of course. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep shaving. I will see you on the next video.